All right, I think we are ready to go. Let's see. Uh, phone's on, it's on, is the volume off? Now it is. Okay. <clears throat> Let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and get going. Alright. Last time we tried cha uh, chapter 20, couldn't beat it. Granted, I was, you know, I, I was short on time, I could only do so much. But. Now we're gonna have to actually do it. Luckily, I have an idea of what we need to do, so hopefully we can beat it today. Okay. Let's try it again. Yeah, we've seen this many times. Okay, so the plan was Barst opens the door. Zane, wait. Six, six, seven. Sheeta moves here. Mark needs to make sure to stay out of the way. doing this so he has more movement. the killer. Oh, well. He needed the killer equipped. Tiki. Basically, either need to go here or here. So, when I fir was first doing this, I had Navarre here, which brought this guy close enough, and I think I usually got the crit. But then this guy was set right here, and I may be easily able to take him out. I think it doesn't really matter which which spot I have him sit on. It just needs to be one of these two. I don't know if it really matters. That means everyone else... Alright. Now down here. I'm baiting out... Thoron. Every time before, I would have Lind. Well, not every time. I would have Lind uh, stand in range so she could fight back. However, when I did that, Barsh seemed to get hit by meteors. And that usually gets him killed because he gets hit by too many things. So sadly, having Ogma here. is the better option purely because it I don't know I don't know why it's the better option luckily we only need to see one dragon transform There 
There we go, he dodged. I that has to happen. Come on, tank it. Yep, good. Very good. Yeah, the dragons are transforming, wasting a turn. Yeah, I need to have the killer bow equipped. I forgot to do that. That'll change things. Definitely change things. Good, good, good. Okay, Bars will survive this. Then he gets attacked by the hero with the Levin sword. Kidding me? Like, first of all, no, no, I, I don't care. I, I don't care. It doesn't matter. Burst. Does Barst? I was gonna say, does Barst need new, like more luck? But the problem is, he's spending that first turn uh, opening the door. So even if I wanted to give him more luck to avoid crits, it's not gonna matter. Then I am also going to do. Okay. First, do that. Do that. There we go. That way I don't have to constantly equip it. I don't have to constantly just remember to equip it, you know, I could just wait on the square I want to. Saves time later. Well, that was a great turn. Uh, that was a great uh, first attempt. Clearly. Let's try it again. Zane transformer into Marth. One, he gives him something extra to do. And he gets extra movement. The extra movement will help him. Oh. Except not really. It's just to get him over to the stairs sooner. Say is here to help out a little bit. Okay, who's next? Navar, we're trying this. Wait, you know what? I'll probably leave. Like Minerva up here now that I think about it. Wait, uh, well. Leave Minerva up in the top right. 
so she could take out the the healer. No matter what. Yeah. Yeah, we could do that. We can leave Minerva here. Or, can, or Abel here. We can leave one of them here so they could take out the, the healer when they show up. The other one will go over here and just uh, ki uh, get rid of the other one who's left. That's it. Okay. You have to dodge. Why? Now, Bars has no chance. There's no chance he will make it through this unless he dodges. That's the only way. He has to dodge. That is the only way he can make it through this. Yeah, he needed to kill her for the agility. The fact that Bars got hit with meteors is just... Now he's going to get hit. Yeah, this is going to happen. It's the other one. I'm the Leaven Sword. Yeah, I'm. I don't trust this. Oh. Well, that that's a that's a reset. This is going great. I think it's just luck. Sometimes the RNG wants to work, and sometimes it doesn't. So I guess I don't have to transform Zane. I don't have to. I doubt that it actually does anything, but... Yeah, yeah, Earth Dragon. Okay. Man, can't even get past the first turn. These three could just stay where they are. They're not hurting anything right now. Agma? Kane's here. Kane is eventually gonna head over here. It's e either Kane's heading over there or Kane is heading up here to get rid of this and then plug this up. Either way. Either way you look at it. Someone's gonna have to take out the healer. And then plug the staircase. Uh, granted, Tiki is probably gonna plug the staircase at first. Just so we make sure no one else shows up. Granted, it seems like the reinforcements only happen once, but I don't I don't know that for sure. Okay. 
Magma. Good. I just realized no meteors at all, like not even an attempt. I, can't, I don't understand this game sometimes. that we got past that first round now the bar gets to fight oh you're right yeah if we get rid of this guy then the mage will actually just get close enough I think that's what it is yeah we get the crit Then the mage gets close. We just go for it. Perfect. Navar definitely needs to heal after this. He needs to use his Volanaries. Okay, we made it past that first round. That helps. First. First, go ahead and grab your KO. Go. It's like exact damage to two, uh, to the KO. Marth. Falchion is not necessary. At least I don't think so, not yet. Alright. Merrick, you heal. My last attempt, you know, before ending stream last time, went pretty well. I died to this dragon, well, not to the dragon itself. Castor was in range of the dragon. And he got hit by the dragon, but then he got hit by meteors. So, that's what happened. Now, with this, if I'm correct... Let me see. Yeah, okay. Castor goes here, grabs the KO. Okay. You can go here, you attack with this to weaken. And, or, you know, just get the crit, that works too. Still luck. We got the Worm Slayer. And, well, you could go all the way here now. I was going to set Tiki here to attack, but eh, that's not necessary. And Navar, you just need to use a Volinary. That's the best we could do. Go ahead, Armor Slayer. Get your crit. That works. That works. Okay. 
Luis. This works. Yeah, you're going after Navarre or Agma. That's what I meant. There it is. It took a little while. Next turn. Number five defense and HP. That's useful. Be more tanky. And Tiki gets rid of this dragon. Get a crit. That works. I'll take it. Okay, the Javelin's going after Marth. The dragon goes after Barst. That's why I didn't have Marth with the Falchion. Because it didn't matter. Oh, this is not good. This is not good. Navar, you have to dodge. Dragon. Good, you dodged. Okay. Now, what is the best option? Hmm. First, the Falchion. working on this guy. Oh, I should have healed him first. Dang it. I made a mistake. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. I should have healed him first. We have heal. Great. Okay, you only have to heal as well. Magma, do your thing. I made mistakes. So, I only, I only have a couple options here. There's only two I can think of. I can either go and save Barst, which even then he could still get attacked by Meteors. Or I could go and save... Uh, I could go save Navarre. I mean, I could use Physic on Navarre, or Barst. Oh. Honestly, Dragon's Breath is not the most accurate on Navarre. 
What gives more void? Nothing. I sense another death. I sense another death. Okay, well... <laughs> okay. You know what? Physic. I'm gonna take a bet. And I'm gonna hope that Navar dodges. I think he is more likely to dodge a, dra a fire breath than Barst is to dodge a potential javelin plus potential meteors. not going well. I'll do wait a little bit longer. Maybe three? You know what I could... Uh... Alright. Maybe he'll attack Abel. I'm not sure. Okay, that was the right call to heal Barst, because I had a feeling he'd get attacked by meteors. The Javelin... We won't know yet. If only I just healed Barst with Merrick. This wouldn't be that much of a, a moment, you know? Okay. That's fine. Getting all the crits. Okay. Six, defense and HP. Okay, the javelin was going after Marth. So, I guess I lucked out there. Or I should have expected it. I'm not sure. Okay, he's continuing going after Navar. Come on. Oh, thank you. I made the right call. Made the right call. Okay. First, Navar. What is your attack? 50. 12. It, it's a two-hit KO no matter what I do. So let's see. Uh, at the moment, Castor will go this way. Tiki. Hold on. Hold on a minute. And what is... You're at one. Uh, it, it's going to Agma. It's going to Agma. Another silver. I guess I could replace the current one. Uh, Kane, head this way. Tiki. Only Tiki could get in range of this dragon. Okay. Lind, you go. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's figure this out first. Barst. Okay. 
Mark, you're at full. What are we looking at if we use... It would have to be this. Not that great, but we need to do something. Uh... Wait, does he have javelin or silver? He has the silver. Attack of 28. Uh, 18. Nah, we'll... We'll let Barst do this. Uh, what is his range? Okay. I can set you here and heal Agma. Good thing I healed. Alright. Now. Wait. Movement of six. Movement of six. Julian, uh, keep moving. Uh, Abel, keep moving. Minerva, you stay back here. Okay. Sone, Shida. I'm gonna let Pars get attacked. I'm gonna have Marth step back. And I'm gonna let Merrick start hitting this way. Right, I, now that I think about it, I needed to warp Kane just to get someone there, because I don't know when they start. Hi. Ah. Just when I got past like some of that tediousness. Oh my god, okay. Just when I get past some of it. Let's try this again. We stand here instead. Okay. Castro moves here. Tiki moves here, turns into dragon. And lap. 
that it? That's it. Can we please get past turn one again? Something. Right now, turn one seems to be like the toughest part. As if the game decides, nah, you're not getting past it now. Let's see. Of course. Bars didn't dodge. So you know what that means. He's gonna get hit by either the bow. Well, he's gonna get hit by the bow and or the Leaven Sword. Most likely both. I have the prompt ready. I have the death counter ready to go. Just need to hit enter. He just needs to dodge one, and guess what? It's less than a 10%. Less than a 10% chance for bar to bar for Bars to dodge the Leaven Sword, specifically. And watch, and watch how this goes. I mean, he can't dodge this. And the Leaven Sword, we got a 9% chance. There it is. Ah, uh, come on. I think it's just random. So, we got unlucky with Barst not dodging the Meteors. The game just decided, no, he's not. He is not doing that. And I doubt putting Marth there instead would be any better. His avoid is 37. Okay, well, Marth has... Okay, Marth has 10 extra avoid. I doubt that would actually help him. And he also doesn't have the HP. So, I'm not sure if he, having Marth open the door or Bars to open the door would be better. I still think Marth would be better. Purely because Bar uh, Marth doesn't have the attack power. Oh, wait. No, he does. He does have the attack power. Huh. Well, he still can't double. Well, we could consider having Marth open the door instead. He is more likely to dodge meteors. What is his defenses? Bars has five extra defense. Yeah, it's a it's a tough call. Turn one. That is a big factor. Go. 
So far out of, like, these, what? This is the fifth attempt? We've only had one where we got past turn one so far? That's great. This is going great. We went to a different spot. That's weird. Not who I expected. Of course Caster gets the crit. Or gets hit by a crit. Of course. Why wouldn't he? Something always goes wrong on turn one. And you're gonna see Barst die to Levin Sword. I'm ready to go. And there it is. Yep, as expected. If it wasn't Castor, it was gonna be Barst. We could try Marth. We could try Marth. Once we get past turn one, we could get a lot farther. It's just turn one is the biggest issue. Okay, Marth, let's give you a dual key. If we have Marth take the door key, then we can give Barst a luck base, but that's not needed, so like, I don't know. Like, if Marth opens the door, he needs defense, but if Barst opens the door, he needs luck to dodge crits. But we have to spend that one turn opening the door. I don't know. I just think no matter... I almost wish I had a backup save to the previous chapter, but I would have to do that entire chapter. I would have to do that entire chapter all over again. All right, we're using Mark to open the door. He's gonna get attacked. Let's see if he survives. This is gonna go a little differently. time I made it through turn one was the one where the the guy with meteors just decided nah he's not gonna attack this turn I don't know why and so far that seems to be the case he's not attacking this turn I don't know what determines that other than just luck Castor, you should have this. Oh, mm -hmm. this is getting annoying. This is getting really annoying. I don't even know if Marth putting Marth there was the good idea. Don't know. But so far, Castor is the only one that's also getting hit by crits. I could give him a goddess icon. I think I have two. Oh, well, let me check. What do I have? I could give him defense. Speed rings, uh, talismans, angel's robe. Yeah, I have two goddess icons right here. Okay. 
Yeah, I could give him a defense if I wanted to, or I give him a goddess icon. And he could definitely use it on this turn. Again, the other option is to try to rearrange my units, to try to get them in more ideal spots. Why do I have the... Just realize... Here, bro. You don't need that. Alright, we're still trying Marth. We are still gonna try. I just don't know what to do with them. Or I just don't know what to do. We just need to get past turn one. Past door. Dragon. are transforming. Okay. Okay, now Mars is getting attacked by meteors. He dodges. That's good. Again, he has a better chance of dodging meteors than Varst. I didn't realize Marth and Bars actually have the same attack power. Bars definitely has more defense and HP, though. Good. Castor gets the crit. Is this the run? I don't want to say that just yet. Good, we dodged. That's a good sign. Okay, yeah, Marth has a 9% chance to dodge this. And then, Levin Sword. Okay, Marth can deal with this. And he got the crit too. Wait, he got the crit. Um, okay. Never mind. Guy with the javelin either can't make it or he chose not to. I'm not sure which. Probably can't make it. Okay, go ahead. We get, we get one general kill. Can we get the other one? Setting Navarre here might, might be better. Yeah, there we go. Now we're making progress. Yeah, I can't really do anything about that right now. Come on. Yeah, dodge. Thank you. Now we're getting past turn one. Now we're getting somewhere. This is a lot better. 
also, I can set this up at, like normal now, if I want to. So what I could do... I could... Wait, hold on. Can Bars grab this? So, his attack speed is 11. He is not fast enough to double. That's a shame. Heal. If I do this setup again, with Marth opening the door, I could give uh, Bars a speed uh, ring. He uses it on this turn, then he should be able to double this guy. Then on this turn, Burst goes up and attacks. That's right. All right. Now we should be good. Uh, Agma, you go right ahead and attack. We can heal him up. Door key. Alright. Yeah, keep him topped up. Kill this guy in one hit with the silver sword. Defensive six. No, I can't. I cannot. With six. Fourteen. I should double. It's twenty-four. Okay, hold on. How much health do I have? 27? Okay. I think I can make this work. Get a crit. That works too. Alright. Now. You go ahead and attack. Then, Minerva goes here, gets this KO. Good, good, good. Number six, skill, defense, and HP. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Just out of range. That's, that works out. Now. Uh, let's go ahead and have Castor weaken. Finish it off. Perfect. Level nine. We got a luck weapon level and the worm slayer. 
and Tiki goes ahead and goes down here. Is that it? Yes. We are making it past... Well, we should be able to make it past turn two. Oh, this actually might be bad. Let's see. First, uh... the dragon I'm worried about. Oh, come on. Come on. Skill, luck, weapon level. Yeah, I'm not worried about this one at all. Oh, look, Tiki dodged somehow. Okay, we didn't get a crit, but we could get rid of it next turn. You're attacking Barst. In range. The dragon... Not that one. The dragon... is going after Barst. getting annoying. Bars is actually holding me back. However, I I like the idea of giving Bars a speed speed wing or ring, whatever it is. I like that idea. Am I winning? No, I am not, Hot Corn Dog. No, I am not. Let's see. This is my... My eighth attempt today? Most of them can't get past turn one? Not going well. Uh, let's see. I'm trying something. I'm gonna give Barst a speed ring. How much does that boost? It's five? That's mo that is plenty. Should have won first try? I know, right? If only we were that simple. Let's try it. Yeah. I should have just, you know, won first try. It's that simple. You know, I, ju I just gotta try harder. Clearly. Something just typically goes wrong on the first turn. Normally, I have Barst open the door. And if he dodges Meteors, he's typically fine. But then sometimes, the Leaven Sword guy gets a crit. Or he gets hit by Meteors, and then he now can't survive because he can't dodge them. Or, on the rare occasions, Castor goes ahead and gets hit by a crit. Something goes wrong turn one. Turn one is the worst. What's going on, Hot Corn Dog? But now we're trying a different strategy. Slightly. Ever so slightly. Marth has more evade and the same attack power. We're gonna have Marth go ahead and open the door this, this time. And these two go to plug the reinforcements. Barst, on the other hand, can't double the sniper. So, I want to give him more speed. Use speed toes? To toes, eh? Now that his speed is 20, his attack speed is at 13. That should be enough to double you. Yes. Forging bonds and heroes, trying to find out if Erica joins. Oh, is she a, uh, another axe user?
Because that was that whole bit, like the whole, like a, a bunch of Axe users get together and have their own little, little group. the new Deadpool and Wolverine over the weekend. It's... It's a fun time, but it doesn't... When it comes to story, it doesn't have much substance. Marth, you need to dodge! You're no better than Barst. Should survive? Yes, he does. Marth has the same problem as Barst. If he gets hit by meteors, he's not going to survive, even if he has a better chance to dodge. Getting past turn one is the main hurdle. And usually it has to do with dodging meteors. And I don't have an alternative. Not that I could think of. Okay. This isn't like GBA, where the RNG is basically the same. Every time I just repeat, so it's just figure out to make one different change, you know? And then do that over and over again. Until I figure out the right path. No, that's not how this works. As far as I know, it's the RNG is just kind of does what it feels like. Can we get past turn one? You know what sucks? I almost beat it last stream. No, Caster had to get hit by meteors too, as well as a dragon. Guy with meteors deals a lot of damage. Huh? 
Good. Sometimes he also gets hit by a crit with Thoron, but that's less likely. But I've seen it. But yeah, uh, her real Ephraim said, you look cool with an axe. And then Erica said, why? And Erica is on a journey to find out why she looks cool with an axe. Let's see. I see. It's all about looking cool. That's all. Oh, wait, nope. This guy moved up one. That means the crit. I don't know why that means the crit. But it does. All I'm asking is to get past turn one. That's all I'm asking. I don't know what else I could do. If I'm correct, luck affects crit rate, right? Dodging crit rate? Alright, let's try it again. You see what I mean? Like, just... Something goes wrong, and it's never consistent. It is never consistent. Key. Merrick. Sane. Shida goes here. First, boost your speed. I have even get, gotten to test it out if using the speed wing is speed ring is a good idea. We haven't gotten past turn one to test it out. <laughs> Too bad Navar can't make it to the mage. That probably would have been a good first turn. Run over here. Navar gets attacked by these two. And then the dragon. Yeah. Oh, well. Alright, cast store. Go ahead and use a goddess icon. Hopefully that will help you avoid crits. The 5% of it. We get past turn one. Metamorphosis. And we're getting attacked by meteors. Oh good, he dodged. That's a good start. Good start right there. Okay, good. I was just, I was just thinking, what if I gave Marth the Levin Sword instead? I don't know. He's probably fine. He doesn't need to counter back. So it was a 2% crit right there. That helps. And now it's also 2%. So maybe Goddess Icon? Probably a good idea. I think I'll keep that at the very least. Basically just eliminate the chance that Castor will get hit by a crit. Just get rid of it. Okay, if I remember, last time Marth got a crit, 
So that's how it opened up. So things have changed ever so slightly. But that's fine. I can work with it. Okay. Yep, we get rid of both armor units. The crit. Perfect. Next. You attack from range. Okay. This is not a good sign. This is not a good sign. Alright. First, 20 damage. First, Marth, go ahead. Grab your KO. Barst, you should be able to double now. Attack speed of 13, that should be enough. That works out. Okay, so giving Barst the speed lets him get that kill. That helps. Okay. And Merrick can go ahead and heal. You know, if I have a men's staff, it might be better to give him that. He's not the best healer. He doesn't have that much strength to work with. Start with over here. I can't heal Navar. It's not going to be possible for me. Uh, at least not over here. So, Caster goes ahead and grabs this KO. And now he gets a crit. Whatever, it's fine. But yeah, uh, I watched uh, Deadpool and Wolverine over the weekend. Kind of a fun time if you just want to enjoy the jokes and all that. But when it comes to the plot, it's one of those movies where the more you think about it, the less it makes sense. It is easily the weakest plot out of the three Deadpool movies. But it may have some of the better jokes, honestly. So, it's kind of one of those give and takes. You plan to watch it over the weekend, so I won't say more, but... You'll at least have a fun time. I can at least say that. But yeah. I'll probably end up watching it again. But I think story-wise, it is probably the weakest out of the three. When it comes to playing with self-contained, I'm gonna be honest, it feels, it already feels very self-contained. Like, the movie itself is still pretty self-contained, more or less. It's, uh... It's weird. I don't want to delve deep into that. Okay, so Navarre... Uh, what do we do? I could... Can... 
so we got we got a problem. Navarre is currently low on health. But a dragon's going to show up. I have no, no... There's nothing else I can really do. Volinary only heals so much. I almost need to hope for a crit. You know what? Yep. That kind of seems like what I have to do. We gotta hope. Yeah. Well, that's not the crit I wanted. Like, that's not the crit I cared about. This is the one I care about. All right. I only have one shot. This is it. Dodge, dodge, dodge! Oh, thank you. We'll take it. We'll take it. That was risky, but that was my best shot. Minerva can hang out up here. Right here. We shall see what they do with the character. Mostly it's been running controlling the character. Again, I I'm not going to say too much because you haven't seen it and I have, but maybe you'll understand what I mean when you do go and see it. Okay, Marth. Good, you dodged. You dodged the meteors again. Okay. Agma should be fine. I'm not worried about Agma. That mage was the biggest threat, honestly. Oh! Hold on! We may have trouble. Agma might be suffering from success. Hold on. Oh, good, we dodged. Okay. I'll take it. I'll, t I'll, I'll take it. Honestly, the, some of these are giving me scares. Good, we dodged that. We got a crit. That helps. Okay. 12. Strength, skill, speed, luck, and HP. We're going with the javelin against Marth. Okay. And the dragon is going against Barst. So this changes things up a little bit. I kind of like the other way around better, but I... Mm. Oh, good, we dodged. Okay. Jeez. None of that. No bots telling me to buy some bot viewers. None of that. Okay. Well, this changes things. Um, I can have Ogma go after the dragon if I wanted to. What is your range? Yeah, I don't want to. I want to be careful. He can keep moving. Castor should go here. I think I will have them plug the staircase for a little bit. Let's see. I gotta be careful. 
Barst, if you were to attack with the silver... Mountain defense. We won't get the kill. Uh, how do I want to handle this? This is a little weird. I think I could go ahead and safely heal Agma. I think I could do that. Okay. Agma, go ahead and Worm Slayer. Barst back out. I'm gonna let Marth go in with the Armor Slayer. Wait. Attack of 31. His Mercury... His Mercury Sword is better. Look at that. What a ripoff. Granted, Marth's attack is kind of garbage. But look at that. Hey, Juice. How's it going? Uh, we're finally having a decent attempt. What's your, what's your attack? 22? And... Okay. We're finally having another decent attempt at this. On Marth. Okay. I thought the Armor Slayer on Marth would actually be better, but no. That's not the case. Marth is... Marth's Mercury Sword is, makes it is even better. Yeah, what's going on, Juice? What's going on? Okay. Put him out of range. Okay, Minerva's gonna stay here and prepare for the healer. Kane enable. No, Kane needs to get moving. Navar needs to get moving. Feeling better for being sick all week. Hopefully, this is the end of it. Oh, I hate that feeling. Yeah. Uh, you move down here. You had no time to play Pokemon Go. That's the worst aspect of being sick. You can't play the games you like. Okay, so I could take the time to heal Caster, or I can Physic. Physic would be better. And I think I'll heal... Mark is important. Yeah, usually when I get super sick, even, like, I won't just play, like, any games. Because it'll, after a little bit, I, like, get a headache. I know, I can't keep it up. Alright. That's it. Bars is being attacked by meteors. I'm okay with that. I am okay with this. That's fine. I'll live. Okay. You're attacking Marth. Okay. Other than chipping away at awakening hard mode, you have no idea. You just put Crumb and Lucy on the field and they clear everything. I mean, that's kind of the strategy, more or less. Two Pegasus girls to pair them with. <laughs> yeah, for extra movement. Okay. All right, um, now things are a little different. Oh, God. 
Agma. Mm. Okay, hold on, hold on. Starlight. 18 to 15 damage on up to KO. You think they messed up making the Falchions have infinite uses? Yeah, that might be the case, but let's be honest here. This Falchion has infinite use. That's just kind of the trend, you know, with Falchions in uh, Mars world, basically. Okay. Castor, you're just going to plug this. You're not going to do anything. Yeah, this one you get near the end of the game because it was stolen. That is true. Okay. Mm, I should have been using a Bolinary. Okay, now we got a problem. Okay, let's see. Agma? I think you need to do this. I think you need to work on getting rid of this guy. One. Okay. Not enough. However, with Starlight... Wait. Okay, I'm out of range of the dragon. That's still good. With Starlight, this should be enough. There we go. Perfect. Okay. Now for these two. I'm thinking, uh, what do we do? Okay, Barst. You got this. There we go. Barst has it taken care of. Level 18, strength, skill, and luck. Now, I think it might be best to have Mark back out. Let's see. Tiki, you get moving. And I think I need Lena to go ahead and Physic. Heal Bars. He's way more tanky. Good. Now, Merrick, go ahead and heal Mark. That's kind of why I did it this way. Okay. This is working out. Uh, what is your range? I don't want Navar too close. So we're just going to go right here. I'm going to save this Volinaries. Alright. Kane? He can go here. Okay. Bars is getting attacked by meteors, but he should, even if he gets hit, I think he'll be fine. Okay. And he's getting attacked by the Silver Lance. Yep, he has the HP to tank it. I don't think he has the attack power. 
Okay. Tiki goes ahead and gets rid of the dragon. Or weakens the dragon. That changes things. Yeah, okay. That changes things up a little bit. Okay, let's see. Castor, go ahead and block. For now. You're too weak. Um... Oh, I don't want to get Navar close either. Can Lind get rid of this? 24... is at full health. He has the void. 34 attack. Minus 19 defense. That is... What is that? Bars should actually be able to get the KO. I, I think I'm worrying over nothing. Uh, what do we have? 15 seconds, okay. should be done. Castor actually has the exact attack power needed. I did the math. I thought it was off by a point. Okay. That's done. Merrick, you head, you head this way. Marth, you head this way. Grab the KO. Okay. All right. Ca history books will remember Caster's noble sacrifice of uh, blocking the stairs. Hey, it's an important job. It is a very important job. In fact, uh, Kane's going to be doing the same job here in a minute. Okay. Lena, you need to... F yeah, you need to physic. What is Meteor's range? 10... Two to the left of North. Okay. Yeah. And Kane's gonna also do the no noble sacrifice of blocking the stairs. It's a very important job. Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and heal Agma. Makes me wish I had the second heal staff, but I've been using it throughout the, the game, so it works out fine. Or the warp staff, I meant. Okay. I I need I need them to stay where they are. Wait, no, they don't need to stay where they are. Ten. There we go. 
Dude, Burton was remembered for guarding a bridge almost by himself, then Caster will be, will be remembered for guarding, guarding stairs. Same thing with Sheeta, same thing with Zane. Don't worry, it's a very important job. Hey, look, Minerva's uh, locked in. Don't worry, she's fine. Okay. Now it's very important that we start healing. Uh, oh, it's too bad. Okay. How do I want to do this? She barely locked in. She can't be distracted during the war. Yeah, exactly. No distractions here. We really need her to take out the physics when they pop in. And Caster's locked in, although he has a door key. How do I want to do this? Uh, Merrick, you need to move. Lena, or not. Hold on. Kane, you can move here. It's fine. Lena, you need to warp. There we go. Because the reinforcements are going to show up in, like, a turn or two. So I need someone there. And no one else can get there fast enough. So I kind of need to warp and do that. Alright. Next. Um, how do I want to handle this? Your attack is 19. You have resistance of eight. I'm gonna have Lena head over here. So that way she can go ahead and heal Agma. Or Navar. Sorry. Sometimes he just doesn't attack. But yet sometimes he does. I don't fully know how this guy works, honestly. Most of the time, he doesn't seem to attack even though he can. Hmm. It's weird, now that I think about it. Tiki, you head up too. Okay. Mystery waits. Mark doesn't need healing. I guess I can do this. Yeah, I, I, now that I'm thinking about it... Now that I'm thinking about it, I don't realize... I don't know. I don't know how this guy works. Hmm. You're talking about... Uh, you're talking about the whole... Uh, Axe users in Heroes, right? There were two groups, right? Mage Dragons have arrived. Let's see? Oh, Merrick didn't make it in time. Merrick didn't make it in time. He needed another turn. This is bad. Okay. How do I deal with this? No one else can make it there. Okay, Merrick, you have to use uh, your strongest move. didn't have the attack power. Yeah, we're getting lucky dodges. 
but now... Right, so... Hack swooped in to recruit Erica and not Chop. Okay. She talks to her axe, officially the least stable lord in Fire Emblem Heroes. Why does she talk to her axe? Oh, uh, this is... This is not good. I was not prepared for this. Okay. Well, this was not a part of the plan. Marth. Yeah, I was one turn off. If I noticed how much damage Merrick was going to do, aka zero, I should have warped Marth over. Uh, of course, something, something goes wrong. Something's off. Something's always off. Hmm. Weird. Okay. Fire breath, fire breath. Close your range. Tiki, you could counter. You can counter at least one of them. Ogma. Stay out branch. Alright, um. I should have saw this coming. Indeed, hot corn dog. That was rigged. Now to do this all over again. Uh, I mean, to be fair, I should have expected that. But it was like, I feel like I've had him go through that section before and not get attacked so I don't know <laughs> I don't know I have no clue alright armor slayer is pointless for you that's for sure There wouldn't have been a problem. Actually, there just wouldn't have been a problem at all if I just left him there. If I left Julian alone, I would have been fine. But no. I'm just like, ah, I don't remember him getting attacked sometimes. No, not there. Right here. We'll get there, we'll get there. That was one of the better runs. And Castro forgot to... Goddess Icon. Oops. And Bars forgot to... I don't know if you want to count that. 
I'm not. I forgot to use two items. It wasn't a death, but... Ugh. I don't know. I re I just remember Barst need to Barst and Castor needed to use items. Barst more so than Castor. Why is Bartre like the only one not disappointed? Is this chapter normally this annoying? Juice, you can you can inform me. Is this chapter usually this annoying? Like this, so far, this is my wall. At least it's the final chapter that's the wall, you know? Unlike, you know, like the Phantom Ship and the Sacred Stones. Let's try this again. Can we get past turn one? I would love to get past turn one right now. Can't remember having too much difficulty. Ah, uh, so it's just me. Good to know. <laughs> Granted, have you played this game like plenty of times? So you, you, you probably know a lot more of this game than I do. got a crit. That makes things different. That changes things up. Because I think the guy with meteors didn't even attack this round. I don't even think he attacked. It says, as long as there's a happy axe user, that's enough for him. Ah, okay. Both groups have different thrones. Axes are the way of life, that's for everyone. Hack believes that axes are an art form. It should be elevated to be realized as an art form, like how swords and lances are. Oh, okay. Yeah. Come on, Navar. Wow, you didn't get a crit. That changes things. That changes a lot of things, actually. Jeez, th this game. Like, it's not consistent. I can't make things consistent, and that worries me. go after this guy. You don't have a choice in the matter. Good. Yeah, no, we'll 
is probably why Hacken was to her. Chop is mostly filled with the common man. Right, right, right. By the way, since we're on Fire Emblem, have you ever watched the Fire Emblem OVA? There's one, it exists. It's a two episode OVA of Fire Emblem 1. And he even has an English dub. It's not that great. <laughs> All I really remember of it is that it basically covers the beginning of the story as well as uh, no Navarre's introduction, basically. I remember that. And Gordon is very whiny, yes. <laughs> He's like wanting to fight alongside the group, but he's very whiny. He's like, but Mars, I want to fight. That's that's Gordon right there. And yes, it's Mars, not Marth. It's a uh, it's an OVA, all right. I've watched it. Honestly, I think Navar, you are better off healing. That's your better choice right now. You didn't get that crit. Alright. Castor. That's fine. Just weakening for Lena. Extra Worm Slayer. Going Storch. Tiki. There we go. That's it. Yeah, it, it, that whole thing was only two episodes. I think it's one of those cases where. They make it to see if it could potentially be made to a series, but I guess it didn't do well. I don't know how they decide to do some of those decisions. Ogma, you got this. Oh, I should have given Merrick the, a men's staff if I have one. That would have been better for him. He's not that great at healing. Okay. Yeah, I've always discussed about how a Fire Emblem anime could work. And I think the trickiest part about it... Well, okay. One, you have too many characters to keep track of. Fire A Fire Emblem anime will work if it was a original story, right? Where you have a smaller cast. And But, you know, at that point, it doesn't even need to be Fire Emblem. Um, the, the thing, though, is the trickiest part about adapting a Fire Emblem story, who do you decide to kill off? Engage has a mango. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Like an actual mango? Or just like those short stories that Heroes do does? Because I think that's the biggest, uh, the, big, the biggest thing about trying to adapt Fire Emblem into some other medium, wh whether it's manga or anime. Or even live action, whatever. Who do you decide to kill off? Oh, really? 
Like an actual mango. I see. Oh, great. Oh, good, we dodged. Yeah, kill Mark at the end. That way we don't get book two. Or we we also don't necessarily get awakening at that point. Oh. Okay, Navarre's doing good. That's always the tricky part because this whole series is all about permadeath, right? And you you want to show that, right? But there's a lot of characters. You, if you spend too much time on one, people get too attached, and maybe you come off too soon or too cheaply of a way. But if you'd never developed a character at all, and then you kill him off, or it's like, well, it doesn't, it doesn't work. Gordon God die, probably. But when do you kill him off? And think about it, this game has like a lot of characters. Like, if you were to adapt this story, there's a lot of characters to to use, you know? Or no one can die, but then you lose out on the potential of... Uh, again, this series is known for its permadeath. I feel like if you were to adapt this into anime manga, you would want to show that. You would want to adapt that aspect in some way. And I think this can totally, like, Fire Emblem could totally work as a, as a show or anime, you know? It, it has everything there. It's just, you gotta be the writer to decide who to kill off and when and how much to develop. It's kind of a big decision. Seth has to be crippled. Like how he does in the game when he dies. Yeah. Here's the thing about that juice. When I look at the anime, especially, each Pokemon nearly gets their own episode. Yeah, exactly. That's kind of how it was treated. But in that case, there isn't much to a Pokemon that you need more than one episode, you know? Like, an individual Pokemon doesn't really need more than that. You slowly introduce each character. Yes, but the problem is then you're not... De oh, we got, we got a crit. What you're not doing then is giving that much development per character, so if you decide to kill someone off, who cares, you know? Have Gordon die in his individual episode? Yeah, I guess. Gordon finally gets his own individual episode, and then he dies. And you gotta also consider if sequels are involved, you might need to keep some characters alive at least for a little bit longer, just so they are involved in wherever that sequel is. And honestly, Sacred Stones would be the easiest to adapt because there is no sequel or prequel to it. That would be the easiest to adapt. Because when you have Fire Emblem 1 here, kind of like this game, the whole roster of unknowns if they die, who cares? And that's the problem. That, that is a problem if you were to adapt into a anime. Gorn's very own episode. That should be the title. <laughs> should be a goofy episode, so the death will be more shocking. That'd be funny. That would be funny. Okay. <sighs> I gotta heal someone. We are at this. We are at this decision again. We have to heal someone, and it's e it's either Marth or it's Navar. Navar is in bigger danger. Like, I could attack... Here's the problem. I could attack and get rid of this, but then we gotta deal with you and you. Which I could have able... Go fight this guy, weaken him, and then Minerva cannot get close. 
I could fully heal Navar. I physic him and then Volinary. That leaves Marth open to be attacked by meteors. But honestly, I think I'd rather take that chance for him to dodge one attack than Navar dodging like three. I think we'll go with that. But yeah, you got this, like for example, you have this game, and then you also have to consider Gaiden is have is connected because like a bunch of characters from this game do show up there, including the Pegasus sisters. Uh, another ad. I'm gonna fill my water. Be right back. Five seconds left. Navar is nearly at Navar is nearly at full health. That's probably my best shot. Uh Kane, you need to stay here. Everyone else. But yeah, Gaiden is connected. There are characters that show up from here that appear in Gaiden. So you might want to consider not killing the moths so they can officially appear in Gaiden. Or you could do something with them. I don't know. Like, I, I don't know how you would want to handle that. But, and then you got book two in this case to consider for plot reasons. Genealogy in Thracia. That, it can be done. In Genealogy's case, the first half, you can easily leave everyone alive, and then, like, people have this false sense of, <laughs> the, the viewers have this false sense of security, and then everyone dies. Pretty much. You know, you will easily have that twist. So it all works out in the end. And then even with the second half, you still have to make the decision who do you kill off during the story. Because honestly, if you're going to adapt Fire Emblem, you might as well kill some characters off. It's the whole gimmick of Fire Emblem. And for some reason, Mark didn't get attacked by meteors not even once. I'll take it. I don't know why, but I'm not going to complain about it. A genealogy, a genealogy adaptation would be pretty sick. It wouldn't be the hardest. Because I do think you can actually have no one die in the first half. Because everyone's supposed to die. Or most of them are supposed to die during the... During the halfway point. So, I think that would be fine. I think that would be fine. It's in the second half. Who do you decide to KO, basically? Oh, wow. I didn't realize you were that low on health. 36. 
Minus 28. Where's the calculator? No, wait, what, what? No, I'm dumb. 36 minus 19. 17. All right, Agma, grab your KO. I, now, here's the re, here's the real question. If you were to do a genealogy, like an adaptation, do you make Thracia actually take place after the first half of the genealogy? Or do you make Thracia after the fact? Kind of like what it normally is. What would be the best out? What would be the best route? Okay, good. Marth is safe. He's completely safe. Uh, Merrick, you need to head this way. He should be able to make it in time. Alright. Now, in this case... Uh... I think we're fine. Navar? And again, there's a similar question with, uh... 6 and 7. First of all, do you add up, adapt Roy's game first, or do you actually go chronologically? Go Ellie Wood and then Roy. I think that would be the better option. But again, you gotta keep some characters alive, because characters need to exist for Roy's story, you know? That's kind of the issue sometimes. That's why I think Sacred Stones would be the easiest to adapt. You don't have to worry about, like, a sequel. Because the Path of Radiance and Radiant Dawn, the, uh, the Tellius games, you have to consider the sequel and who to keep alive, who to kill off. Uh, Awakening, you don't need to worry about that. It's standalone. However, it does connect to Mark's games, so that would you you really have to future-proof whatever story you're telling with you know this adaptation. That would be the hardest thing to consider. Right here, Fates. First of all. Why would you adapt Fate, Fate's story? It's not good. Second of all, if you were to do that, how would you do that? Because there's three different stories. Same thing with Three Houses. Three Houses has four stories. Four story paths you could go through. You almost need to create your own, uh... Your own original story, right? He, yeah, he ha someone has to warp, yeah. Who's left? Just some healing? Just some healing. So, and no one needs healing yet. We can warp right now. There we go. That works out. Sadly, Engage would actually work as an adaptation, ignoring the fact that it has a manga, right? Engage would work in the terms of there's no sequel to it. You don't have to worry about other games, more or less. The problem with it, though, is you have the whole problem with uh, the fact that... It's heavily reference reference based on previous store previous stories, previous characters. So trying to adapt that one first wouldn't really work out the best. Uh, 
But yeah. I do think Fire Emblem could easily work. It's just... When you gotta consider permadeath, that would be the hardest to write. I think sick, you either need to do your own original... Do your own original plot. Or go ahead and... Uh, or go with Sacred Stones. I think that would... I think that would be the easiest. But yeah. And that's just not even about the writing itself. Like how to write each character. How to progress the plots. How to do the fights. No, that's just like... Uh, it's just a lot to consider. Oh. Minerva needs to get in there, so... Bar should be out of range. Yeah. All right. Merrick should be able to block that next turn, and we should be safe. Caster is fine for now. Bar taking out the dragon. gonna have Lind I'm gonna have Lind go ahead and heal Agma. Agma and Tiki are gonna head north. I do think like the idea of writing a fire emblem like movie uh anime manga is a kind of an interesting like uh writing exercise you know what i mean but i do think it would be very difficult martha's fine we could do that Nope, he's out. He's not. Nope. I need to make sure he's safe. I need to make sure. Able. Yes, you can make it. Alright. It's just these three. Yep. Okay. Mage dragons have not shown up. Actually, tank a hit if needed. Okay. Oh, I didn't realize she got hit. Alright. Let's heal her up. We're gonna have her, Ogma, and Marth head up north. I think maybe using Tiki instead of Castor is probably for the better. Maybe, we'll see. But I do want to swap Castor in, but it's going to take a little bit. So let's see. Actually, I'll have Navar stand right here. Lena will go here. That way, Navar could just head north. Oh, the door closed again. That's weird. The door just likes to stay closed. I think I'm actually going to keep him here because he's holding the door open. <laughs> Good. Mage Dragons have arrived. 
Too bad almost all the doors are blocked. Ah, uh, yes. Run away. Run away from Minerva. You can't escape me. Julian, you... Yeah, you're safe now. You go ahead and heal. There. We're doing okay. He almost needs another one. He almost needs another heal. Alright. What was your range? I want Tiki right here. Perfect. Agma, you get up here. And Marth, you need to... Well... Lind, go ahead. Heal Marth. Heal Marth. Alright. Now we do that. Alright, who's left? What do we got? Now, I feel like there's only one set of reinforcements. Well, I think Navarre can... Actually, he's not going to be that helpful for right now, so he's going to wait. He's going to wait a turn. Alright. Who's left? Alright. Dragons are on the move. Yeah, I had a feeling. I had a feeling Lind could get attacked. Alright, Tiki, you got this. Again, she's got this. Oh, right. Not a fire dragon. Marth can make it. He will get attacked by bows, though. Maybe if I had Tiki attack first. Okay, what are we looking at? 43 minus 15. Look. That would be 28 damage. If you deal 20... No, it, it wasn't 26. It wasn't 26. You have resistance. Hmm. What's the best route? I can physic. I can physic more if I need it. Wait a minute, hold on. Before I try... Yeah, okay. Magma? Worm Slayer. He's fine. Perfect. Go ahead and attack first. Weaken the mage dragon. Yeah, 11 damage. Okay. 12. Now I want Marth to go in with the Falchion. Come on, Marth, you got this. Ah, uh, a single point. 
look at that. A single point in damage would have done it. With from either Tiki or Marth. Attack of 24. Minus four defense. Or with the defense. Wait. Yeah. Marth will be at a single point of HP. A single point. Marth will survive this. Uh, and let's be honest here. If crits are involved... Uh, yeah, if crits are involved, let's be honest, Marth will not survive anyway. So, um... Your attack speed is 7. Attack speed is 9. Yeah. If crits are involved, Marth dies anyway. And again, 24 minus 10, that's 14. He'll survive. So that's a good sign. Okay. Minerva, just go ahead and get rid of this guy. Or work on getting rid of that guy. You'll get, you'll get it eventually. So, no point in worrying about Marth at the moment. <clears throat> oh, I hate that weights first. I hate that weights first. I really do. attacking Marth. And he has a 0% chance to crit. Perfect. That worked out. Well, time to start healing. I lucked out there. Okay. Marth almost dying should be a running gag. It probably should. Actually, yeah, if you were to make an adaptation of any Fire Emblem, making the hero almost die would probably be a common thing you'd probably use. You could make that... You could easily do that with, like, any Fire Emblem character. Although, Marth, Roy, and probably Erica work the best in terms of trying to uh, make him think they're almost dead sort of thing. Let's be honest, Ike's a pretty good fighter. He's been properly trained by his father. Uh, Ephraim is a good fighter. Sigurd's a good fighter. I guess Self and Leaf would probably be... Uh, would have that happen where you'd, like, you'd write cr close calls, basically, is what I'm trying to get at. So if you were to attack Tiki, what are we talking? Obviously, an attack of damage of 26. His attack is 24, but I have no attack speed. Okay. That ain't happening. Oh, wait. Oh, this works out for me. Now that this archer has moved over here, Tiki can attack this dragon. The trade-off, though, is I have to also worry about this. Attack of 19. We have resistance of 10, so that would be 9 damage. So like 17 in total. Okay. I will want to fully heal Tiki. I will want to do that. And I'm gonna I'm gonna hold off on Agma. 
Yeah, I'm gonna want to heal Tiki. Bring her down here. Set her right here so that way she can get rid of the dragon. Cast her weights. And we just gotta wait for a little while. Yeah, go ahead. Let, waste that physic. Yeah, I knew Navar could get attacked. That's why I fully healed him. Get up here. Now you're safe. Let's go ahead and heal Burst. We're just gonna be spending a few turns just kinda waiting around and healing. Okay, he may not be at full health, but he'll survive. Because your attack is 19. Yeah. Bars will survive a hit if it gets tanked. Alright. So, now I want to check something. Your range is 10. Six, seven. Wait. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, seven, eight, 10. I'm assuming it's 10. We move here. We need to get all the way over here. With your movement of seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How is he supposed to get there? I needed I needed him over here. How was I able to make it across? Did he like dodge? I was able to get Julian all the way over here. I don't know how I made it work last time. You know what I'll probably have to do is... I don't know. Like, he has no... You know what's not a bad idea for Julian? Giving him a Seraph's robe. That's not a bad idea. Too bad I don't think I can really make it work. We're doing no damage until he gets the bunny boy will be his gag. That is true. And it can also be kind of like my playthrough where he just becomes the pack mule. Does he have a culinary No, she doesn't. Yeah, he could just be the pack mule for a little bit. If you really want him to. How did I get Julian over there? I think I just got lucky and he dodged. If we want to be more serious. <laughs> yeah, I guess. Yeah, he can fight against bosses and then deal zero damage. He's just constantly frustrated that he can't be as good as his father. Where's the silent staff when you need it? N yeah, now I kind of wish this game had the silent staff. His father will who the only dude Yeah, he would do he would do like two or three damage, but he would that's still more damage than than uh Roy. So that's still more damage. Okay. Let me get over here. And continue healing up. How come Tiki's uh, stone is actually lasting the entire fight? It seems to be lasting a lot longer than it should be. Yeah. Okay. 
if Mark were to get attacked, 24 minus 13. Yeah, I want Navarre to go ahead and stand here, lure the other archer away. Let's heal you up. Again, how did I, how did I make this work? Again, I feel like Julian just got super lucky and just man and make it make it across. Five seconds. Just gonna check my stuff. Tiki will get attacked, and she should be okay. Even though she'll get attacked by meteors, she'll be fine. I just figured might as well let it play out. Because I want to see. You know. Four, three, two, one. There we go. Yeah, I, I waited for the ad to end. And Tiki dodged. Right, this guy is not weak to the ice rift. But at least he can get start working on this guy. That's kind of why. Easy. Easy. Okay, Abel's getting attacked. That's fine. Honestly, it is. Problem is Julian's not. He would have to dodge. Honestly, Tiki's fine. She can attack. And get a crit. That works too. I I almost need to get rid of him. Animations look like there's no power into the arrows. Ah! Yeah. Alright. Navar. I guess you could back out. We already lured them. Let's see. How to handle this? Tiki will get doubled. That's not a good idea. Oh! Oh, I got it. I got it. Hold on. I know what I can do. First of all, let's get rid of the armor slayer. Let's grab the Leaven Sword. Hand that to Ogma, because he can double. We'll go ahead and just trade that for, I guess, the steel for now. There we go. Now we got something. Let's heal him up. Who needs Castor? Who needs him? Eh, close enough. Okay. 
attack at 24. Uh, 17. Hold on. Pulling out the calculator. That would be 7 damage. Ogma, you are fine. You are doing good. Now, granted, Levin Sword, I believe, is 10 damage. Yeah. Oh, 7 each. Well, that's not good. But, you know, we can start working on getting rid of this guy. Crits help. Crits indeed help. Who needs Castor? Who needs him? physics user has to make a decision. Who do you heal? Who do you heal? Nothing. I don't think it'll matter. Alright. Last time Castor was really useful, but swapping out for Tiki was the worst idea. There we go. Another crit. Go Tiki. Bulnary. Alright. I think Ogma will get this KO. Definitely with a crit. That's for sure. Eight strength and HP. Oh, I think I remember why I wanted Castor. So we can have a better shot at getting rid of him without getting in range. Oh! Tiki, you are not in a good spot. Um... We might have to actually... Actually, we're gonna have to use Tiki then to get rid of that mage. Now that I think about it. Man, that Dragonstone lasted a long time. Does the Divine One last longer or something? Okay. Might as well heal Bars. I'm playing it a little slow, but hey, I kind of need to right now. Minerva, go ahead and grab your KO. Yay, Minerva actually did something. Good for Minerva. She didn't even get a level out of that. Well, um, Julian's not doing anything. Might as well get Minerva out of there, I guess. Let's see. Oh, wait. Castor does have a door key. Now, let's be honest, no reinforcements have been showing back up. Hmm. Okay, hold on. Let's heal Ogma. Is there really only one set of reinforcements? I feel like there would be more. That's why I don't want to take risks right now. Agma, you go ahead. Work on this guy. Okay. Once we get rid of the archer... Tiki needs to get rid of these mages. And then we can start going after Medeus. Now we're close. We are close.
Tiki has the resistance. We'll probably have Tiki start working on that physical user. Okay. Magma, go ahead. Work on that. One more! Let's go! Get out of here. Ah, uh, almost there, almost there. See, it's already playing the happy music. That's how you know we're gonna win, right? That's how you know. Might as well heal up Tiki, cause why not? Let's see, Tiki can deal, like, 26 damage. Uh, not enough to KO this guy. So, we're gonna have to spend a few turns. Barse, you're nearly at full. I think we need to get rid of the Physic user first. Well, open the door. Let Minerva head out. She's done her job, I guess. And yep, I need to worry about that. Luckily, he should survive this. Yep. I need to get rid of that guy. Not enough, but yeah, it's close enough. Alright. Tiki, start moving forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I should probably keep. I should probably keep them all where they are, honestly. do that. Hmm. Yeah, honestly, I don't think Castor is needed anymore. I don't think he's going to be needed. I used him last time, but oh well. Tiki's got this. And again, like, he didn't go after Agma when he could have. I don't understand his attack pattern. Start getting rid of this guy. strength, that means more healing. Um, no. You will not be safe if you just do that. I'm gonna go right here, I think. Alright. Let's hope this guy isn't gonna be a problem. He's not. Why is he? Okay, well. He should have physic. Well, we got rid of the healer. 
strength, speed, luck, and HP. Yeah, he has physic. I don't know what... What is with this game? Like, I don't fully understand how it works. Like, you think the AI would be... Like, trying its best to... Keep at least someone topped off or something. Should, I should have enough to uh, get the KO. T attack of 27. Oh, so is the breath attack literally based on our strength stat? Because it seems like it's still the same thing. And then add a plus 10 or something. Either way. I'll take it. There we go. Works out. We finally got rid of the meteors. Now that's the most annoying part out of here. Alright. Now we can get my main fighters. Bar. We need healing. We got, our main, we got our main three fighters ready to go. Bars can be here and maybe throw a hand axe. It's going to take a little bit before I get cast her if I want him over. Which I think I'll be fine. Alright, almost there. Okay, so we're about ready to fight him. Dark Breath has no effectiveness. I'm gonna go ahead and get Marth close by. It can attack from range. It doesn't seem to have any sort of effectiveness. Attack of 22. But with Tiki here, we can go ahead and wait. I have awakened from my sleep. Rebels, you will suffer a fiery death by the flames of hell. Okay. Ah, Tiki can't deal enough damage. Never mind. Sorry, Tiki. You can't do anything. You're done. Alright. So again, 22 damage is better if Marth waits. I'm just gonna let Marth wait. Okay. 
And then obviously Navarre and Agma are backup. This. Get that door open. Send you up here. No. Send you here. Alright. We're almost there. Third breath, Marth dodges. And with the Falchion in hand, he deals six damage. Only six damage. Well, 12 in total. Yeah, okay, we need to get rid of him. Yeah, okay. That sucks. What do you mean 43 damage? Is he not a dragon? Does Earth Dragon not count as a dragon? I knew it. I knew it never counted. He's just a dinosaur! Dinosaurs are not dragons! I knew this was rigged. Alright. Well, might as well hold off. I want to get rid of the healer. Okay. Castor, you can finally do something! Spend a few more turns. I thought Marth would deal way more damage. I thought Marth would deal a lot of damage, but no. Earth Dragon's not a dragon. Next turn. Okay. Castor, go ahead. Just, just do it. Get him out of here. There, both healers are gone. All the healers are gone. It's just Medeus left. That's all that's left. Alright. You stand here. And again, attack of 43. There's something else going on. your normal attack? 23 minus 15. Yeah, that's that's 8. Wait. 23 minus 15 is 8. There's something else going on, because didn't I deal 6 damage per hit? That's weird. Well... Might as well throw Navar and Agma close by. We'll survive. Alright. Let's leave it at that. Ah, going after Navar. Zero damage. Oh, I see. He literally needs a single point in strength to make it work. One more point in strength, and he would have got it. He would have been able to deal a single point in damage. Just a single point. Isn't this exciting? Alright, and I'm pretty... yeah. If Navarre couldn't do it, Agma can't. Alright. Here, I want to check something. The silver in hand! Uh, there's some extra resistance going on. Alright. Marth, you need to wait. Okay. Yeah, if this is Marth. This has to go to Marth. Yeah. Yep. 
that's just how it's gonna have to be. Sucks with the attack range. But now that I think we can bait it, we could just wait it out. We can basically just wait it out. That's hilarious. And you know what? I want to use up the rest of his dark. I wouldn't mind using up the rest of his dark breath. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> the crit rate's not activating. Uh, we got rid of that. Castor's not gonna help me, but, you know. to just do this the slow way. The slow way until he runs out of dark breaths. And you said he had an 18% chance to crit? How about... How about we fix that? Let's fix that. Let's grab a power ring. Let's grab a goddess icon. Let's increase that luck. No result. Oh, is everything capped at 20? Is 20 the cap? Yeah, 20 seems to be the cap. I didn't realize that. Well, it's a slow process, but we can make it work. Mark didn't get hit. We lucked out there. Well, let's go ahead and use the power ring. Don't worry. We could deal more damage now. Dodges? Come on, Marth. Now it's a total of eight. Uh, now it's 16 damage. That's way better. And you know what? We have another one. We might as well use it. Uh, I don't think any of this other stuff is actually going to help me. So... Strength went up by three. Now he's capped at 20. Well then. The only other thing I could do is just increase his max HP. Well, there we go. We dodge. Yep. There's the crit. We finally got it. Good job, Marth. You did it. Oh, I could be defeated by humans. But the heart of Tia's prince, protected by the light, there will be one day when people's hearts only have evil inside them. And that is when my manifestations will appear. The heart, as long as there is light, darkness will never fade away. That, my friends, is Medeus. He's done. He has been slain. With the Shadow Dragon, Medeus' defeat, the Delunian Empire disappeared into the darkness once again. That simply, huh? The five-year war of Arcanea was finally over. Wait, five years? 
two years before the start was when they attacked, right? So, are they implying this whole story from when Marth started took took three years to do? Hey, Twink, you just came in just as I already took taken out Medeus. The continent of Arcanea, which was surrounded by darkness, once again welcomed the light. And so, Marth's long journey had now finally come to an end. Lord Marth! I can finally return to Talus! Of course there's a ad break. Although I should- uh, man, I wish I noticed that the ad was gonna play. I better just let the ad play. It's kind of an awkward time. Uh, it's kind of awkward. Oh, well. We got... One minute. One minute. <laughs> this is probably a, a time to actually let the ad finish up. Just kind of seeing what's going on. Is there anything important? Lord Mark, you finally returned to Door Dash. <laughs> Uh, let's see. 25. 20 seconds left. Come, man, I wish I noticed. I would have I would have hit the snooze. Oh well. Uh, 10 seconds. Five, four, three. The ad should be done. <laughs> ad should have been done. Okay. We got Chick fil A. So I guess see that. It's not as nice as I thought. Oh no. It's like, Lord Morth, I can finally return to DoorDash. Uh, Sheeta can continue her job as a DoorDash deliverer. Anyway. Sheeta. You must go back to report to your father, right? Ad is over, yeah. But if you don't return to Altea immediately afterwards, then... Yes? Uh, well... These lands, which have been ruined by war, must be restored as soon as possible. <laughs> Marth, always leaving the most important things until last. If you're a hero, then don't try to be around the bush. Go ahead and tell Sheeta your feelings. Nina, what should I... Ah, my head. Sheeta. Oh, yes? I hope that you and I can go back together to Altea. Yes! I would like that. Yay. Took three hours, but we beat book one. And so, the devastating War of Darkness ended with Deluna's fall. Here are the records of war. Oh, uh, we're gonna see how slow I was. 13 turns, chapter 1. 9 turns, 11 turns. 11, 17. 20? Oh, how many turns is the final chapter gonna be in total? 12, 19, 14, 25. 28. So far, 28's the one to beat. 7 and 4. 34 is the one to beat. Getting all those treasures uh, took a while. Uh, 25, 16, 18, 31. 31. 34. The Tiki chapter took the longest to beat. 385 turns in total. And I didn't do anything like boss abusing. Chapter 1. Ah, personal records. Let's see. Well, we're done with book 1. Now we can... I think we can actually get a chapter in book 2 going. 
Marth returned to the war devastated Altea and worked to restore his homeland. Recently, he has been making preparations to succeed the throne. Yeah, Sheeta really didn't do that all that much. After returning to her homeland of Titus, she immediately headed for Altea and to Morph's loving company. He played the final chapter clean without warps and cheese strats. Uh, I did some warps, but... Actually, I only used one, one warp, and that's just to block the mages. Knights and Garden and... Yeah, so, I don't know what I could have done with the warp. Because Marth is the only one that can fight Medeus. I guess I would have had to hope that he would have dodged, but the thing is... Um... Uh, the problem is... Lena was not near Marth. So, she was the only one with the warp staff. Unless I gave the warp staff to Merrick. But why would I want to do that? Yeah, uh... I could have rearranged. That's the thing, like, you can rearrange, you just have to, like... Uh... Kind of set it up one at a time, you know? Like, undo everyone, kind of know where everyone's placed, and then just kind of pick the units one at a time where you want to be. I could have done that. But, uh, no. I didn't go that route. I could have rearranged Lena to be right next to Marth to warp if I wanted to. see what everyone's up to after the events. He joined the Arcanian army, but later abandoned his post. It is rumored that he became a pirate. Really? Barst became a pirate? That's strange. He returned to Talus to live with his mother. However, his life is harsh. How so? Are we gonna find out? Yeah. Got a little bit. The monastery in Midden, she cares for orphans. Very simple, straight to the point. He gave up thievery and worked in Medon. Okay. Yeah, some of these are just very simple. He ignored the expectations of others and left like the wind. Navar just leaves. I mean, that's normal. That's kind of normal. He buried his feelings for Princess Elise, and once again returned to uh, Caden. Okay. Now, if I remember, based on what I know about, like, Book 2, Harden, I believe, is the main baddie. Mary Nina became the king of Arcanea. Okay. Because if I rem if I know some of the plot, I think Nina and he becomes, like, uh, corrupt with grief or something. Incoming Swordmaster, and he was never seen again, exactly. I guess I'll find out the plot, but I'm pretty sure Harden does become the bad guy. Who knows, exactly. We'll find out soon. At least we don't have to wait that long. We gotta wait for the credits to end, and then we can at least start book two. Remain with the Arluian Knights, and work tirelessly to restore the nation. I wonder how this game could be done as like a solo run, you know what I mean? He retired from the army and made it in, casually past the days. The problem is, if you were to try to do like any sort of solo run in this game, you have to somehow modify Medeus, you know, because, like, or let the Falchion be used by anyone or something. Like, that would be the only way to make something like that work. Because from what I understand, the Falchion seems to be the only thing that can actually hurt Medeus.
I think they probably changed that in FE9, didn't they? Where the Falchion helps, but it's not necessary. Because I remember in 9, uh, there's like a lesser powerful Falchion to get. Oh, sorry, 11. That's what I meant. Sorry. Yeah, 11, my bad. The remake. Remake of 1. Because in that one, there was a lesser Falchion you can use. But, I don't... It's been a while. Yeah, you know, Telus Games, they have a Falchion, right? And a uh, Medeus, right? Uh, if only I repaired the Aura Tome before it broke. I thought I had the opportunity to repair it, but no, I wasn't allowed to. And yeah, doing a challenge, doing like a solo run of this game, the final boss would be the toughest to like set up. When did I miss recruiting Marth and Tellius? Exactly. Yeah, yeah, my bad. <laughs> You know if the, you know for a fact if they ever remake nine or ten, there's just gonna be some sort of dragon gate where there's gonna be so, like the DLC is located and you could get Marth through there, you know, and you could have Marth on your team. You know they do something like that. Man, I love this soundtrack. It's so great right now. <laughs> This is, this is just fantastic. Uh, after the war, he disappeared. A lot of these are just kind of very basic and to the point. I think that's part of the problem when there's, like, no supports. All the... Everything that they do afterwards is usually very basic. Why did the soundtrack disappear? Been rumors of his... Okay. Yeah, okay, so Katria worked tirelessly to restore Medon. Oh, nothing about going over to, uh, uh, she buried her troubling feelings and worked to restore her homeland. Yeah, there's nothing about them going over to the other continent. English text takes longer, so the song is not long enough for the fan translation. Oh, I see. After the war, he left without saying a word. Not like he really did anything. Yeah, we got Aaron. By Jagan's request, he became the captain of Altaian Knights. And we didn't get Samson, although we did get him for the achievement. Uh, by Bantu's side, she quietly passed her days. Just kind of chilled. Yeah, so... She fell in love with an Altarian Knight and stayed by his side. Except when going over to the other continent. <laughs> I'm guessing these are the same uh, texts that were in FE1, I'm guessing. So they say the same thing. Because, honestly, you could have easily, easily said text that the Pegasus sisters went over to a new continent. She watched over Marth and lived a peaceful life. That's the last one. We have gotten 45 recruits. None of them, none of them died. Yes, we will save the game. And so, time passes. Book two, War of Heroes. Deathless run? Oh, I'm not that good. <laughs> That'd be very hard to do. Starting book two. Just go straight into it. <clears throat> After five long years, the great war with the Delunian Empire, which caused much suffering and was later called the War of Darkness, ended with the defeat of the Earth Dragon King, Medeus. The warriors who have gathered under the Fire Emblem return to their homelands. And to restore the lands from devastation, 
used up much strength. Among the countries that once made up the Seven Kingdoms of Arcanea, Gra and Grus were ruined. Altia, Aurus, Medon, and Talus were also deeply scarred. Even the Grand Kingdom of Arcanea was undergoing restoration. Then the royal capital, Palus, which was still shaken by the war, an important event occurred. King Aurelus' younger brother, Hardin, married Princess Nina and ascended as the 24th king of Arcanea. After becoming king, Hardin, although seamlessly uh, reluctant, instantly restored the country. He gathered many soldiers to create a powerful army. Following that, he declared the restoration of the Holy Empire of Arcanea. And he declared himself emperor. Because don't you know, empires are bad, kingdoms are good. <clears throat> One year after the, uh, after the end of the war with Doluna, the world seemed to be entering a state of peace, but the wheels of fate appear to have a fault. So this is one year after... This is one year after book one? One year has passed since the War of Darkness ended. Okay, so the first game took a total of five years, that entire war. That's what, So... Two years passed after Marth's uh, homeland gets destroyed and he retreats. Two years later, he trains at Talus. And it seems like the entire event of Book 1 t took three years to do. Okay. And then one year after that is here. Okay. Thanks to the efforts of Prince Marth, the Kingdom of Altea, devastated by war, finally begins to stabilize. The King Jake, the Knight Jagan, who succeeded the ill uh, Mal Maldus became the prince's tactician and helped him rule the country by his side. Afterwards, Princess Sheeta was welcomed to Altea, and her marriage with Prince Mark was announced. The citizens of Altea were happy for the pair's fortune, and Sheeta was passionately welcomed to the country. However, during the day of the wedding, a letter suddenly comes from the Imperial Palace of Palus, containing an Imperial Order. Dear Prince Marth of Altea, At the Kingdom of Grast, occupied by Arcanea, a huge rebellion has broken out. I request for your country to subdue Grast. Your Highness, please send Altea's full army immediately to quell Grast's rebellion. Emperor Harden. The Kingdom of Arcanea is the uh, suzerain state of Al Altea, and his orders must be followed. The helpless Marth orders the Knight K to protect his kingdom, and he leaves along with Jagan and the others to, exp to an expedition to Rust. So now here's the question. Is book two going to be treated like a brand new playthrough where it's going to be very easy, or is it considered chapter 21 for now? It seems pretty simple, so I'm going to say it's treated like a fresh game. Jagan! We've finally arrived! Is that the Rebel's Fortress? I just saw the occupation of the army's commander, General Lang. You should ask him directly. So you are Lord Marth. Currently, the situation situation is relaxed. We have already subdued most of the rebels. All that remains is this fortress. Since you are here, I will leave the job of defeating the rebels' re rebels leader, General Lawrence, to you. Lawrence, okay. Huh? The leader of the rebels is General Lawrence? Why would he rebel? Oh, I don't know why. But it is the fact that he is hiding Grus's prince. He's probably dreaming of restoring the kingdom of Grus. What a fool. He really thought his rebellion would be victorious. Lord Marth, 
He will kill Lorenz and bring back the hidden Grustian royal children. We will leave this place to you and pursue the escaping rebels. <coughs> we must show those Grustian fools the consequences of opposing us. General Lang, what are you planning to do? If you want to know, I am going to slaughter the families of the rebels. Then we will burn down any villages that harbored the rebels. That will stop them from co uh, contemplating rebellion again. <laughs> I can almost see the tears on the faces of those fools. What? How can you be so cruel? There's nothing wrong. But you best follow my orders and not think about things too much. Or do you also? Intend to rebel against Arcanea. What? Of course not. Then you better listen to my orders. Lord Marth, don't think too highly of, your, of yourself. In my eyes, you are just the prince of a weak country. With its power, Arcanea can destroy your country at any time. Don't forget about this. Already, like... Setting up, uh, good stakes right here. Jagan, what's going on? Why has Hardin handed over this country to such a man? General Lang was once a noble of Arcanea. However, in the previous war, he supported the Dolunian Empire. I hear that he stole from other people to add to his own wealth. I fear he has continued his ways at Cross and caused suffering to his people. So General Lorenz's rebellion is completely understandable. Jagan, how can you say things so casually? If we don't inform Hardin of the truth, more instant people will be killed. Yeah, you have a good you have a uh, good day with whatever you need to do to me. At least enjoy the background noise. Your Highness, I understand your feelings. However, Lorenz's rebellion is a fact. First, we must see how we can help him. Basically, we should listen to what the citizens have to say so we can affirm what has happened to this country. Then your highness can talk to General Lorenz personally. But the rebels don't know that we're from Altea. Can we reach the fortress safely? Don't worry. Most of the rebels have already fled. All that remains is Lorenz and the children in the fortress. Blocking our path are only bandits who have taken advantage of the confusion to raid villages. They are no... They are, they are no problem for us. You can order Aaron to defeat them in one blow if you want. However, your highness, we have some fresh recruits in our army that should use some fighting experience. To them, bandits are relatively strong foes, so be careful not to push them too much. If possible, I would have liked to fight as well, but my body is not what it used to be. I will stay by your highness's side as your tactician. Well, your highness, we should go. So we got draw. Okay. Oh, okay. Cecil. Is that a new character? Or was that. We got Luke. Aaron's here. Okay. Rhodey. Gordon. And Ryan. Yeah, we got some new characters. Well, if Luke and Cecile are my new calves. Oh, wait. We also got Rhodey. Probably only take two of them. Aaron's just kind of here. Actually, now I got a question. If I never recruited Aaron and I got Samson, would Aaron still be here? He does kind of look like Leaf, doesn't he? <laughs> okay, Mark. Where's the Falchion? Why do you not have it? At least he kept the fire emblem, I guess. Why does he not have the Falchion? There's no reason why he shouldn't have it. Or is it still sticking in Medeus' like, skull? Let's see. I think what we'll probably do is we'll... I'll at least use two of the Cavaliers in total. 
I don't know. Wait, is Gordon better? Strength of seven, defense, skill. So, wait, level five, level one. I have a feeling this is a case where Ryan is going to be the better archer if we give him the experience. Uh, okay. Let's see. By the way, this is a more interesting song, so uh, I think they're using the Super Nintendo a little bit better. Okay, Marth. How about we get going? Trog? You have steel. Attack of 18. That's 3. Not enough to KO. But we can give the kill to Gordon if needed. Let's see, how do I want to do this? What's that, attack of 9? No attack speed. Ugh, okay. I gotta use- I, I just gotta make some movements. And again, no weapon triangle. I think the song is better. Yeah, that's- I think that, uh, battle song is a little bit better. I need Marth to go to the other village, but I need help clearing out some bandits first. Lorenz is- yeah, we got Lorenz, but he has a broken weapon. Interesting. Granted, he is a general, so I think that's the, the reason they gave him broken weapons, because they would be too strong. That is my guess. You can't make it. Yeah, I think we're going to try to use... Uh, not Gordon, the other one. And I'm pretty sure dis dismounting is still a thing, so... I gotta remember how I... Aaron, can you weaken? I just want to see if you can weaken. Attack of 24, 22. Attack speed of 4. Uh, yeah, you can kill. You attack with the Chaplain. Yeah, the Iron Lance. I forget, no weapon triangle. So used to a weapon triangle. Okay. Now if you attack, what are we looking at? Attack of 11 minus 3, not enough. You know, we get a crit, that works too. I'm okay with that. Okay. Luke, uh, just hang out here, I guess. And you get over here. And I guess Aaron could stand here and just... Again, would we have him if we recruited Samson instead? Is there any sort of, like, if one thing happens in the first game, it affects book two? Is there anything like that? Well, okay. 
I was gonna say, I don't think there's any harm with telling me, but maybe there is. I don't know. Okay. I want you to attack this bandit. Oh! I didn't real. Oh, okay. That's my bad. Well, that's a reset. And of course, there's an ad. <laughs> At least I saved. That's a. Is that the same? I don't remember. I don't think that is the same. Set up the first turn. There we go. I'm probably going to do a similar first turn. didn't get the crit this time. That's interesting. That's an interesting decision. But Aaron will always be your book too, Jagan. So what's the explanation if you never recruited him? Because he was optional. I could have gotten Samson. just wonders like how much book one affects book two in this okay um let's see I'm gonna go ahead and have Luke here I could put Ryan there. Yeah, Ryan could go here. Yeah, I do know you can choose book two right away. I'm, I am aware of that. Yeah, I'm aware. I'm aware that if I really wanted to, I could have just started with book two. Just so I didn't have to play the remake of book one. And so does book two just kind of keep that in mind so they don't really do anything special? Honestly, like, if they do keep things in mind, it could make things interesting. Uh, so book one really doesn't have any effect on whatever happens in book two. You could have been playing with Harden in your team in book one. He could die. You could have killed him off, and he'll still be here. Although they might have rewrote him to be like, nah, I'm just injured like Seth. Yeah. 
let's see. Yeah. It would have been cool if they did something like that, but it probably wasn't their intention. And you know what? That's prob- they probably thought about that. And that's how book, uh, that's how genealogy got, uh, they got some of the ideas for genealogy. They probably took some of those potential concepts and applied it for genealogy. Because if certain characters die, they can't have their kids, so you get replacement units. sense to me. Someone probably just thought about it here and be like, oh, let's go ahead and just take those concepts and make another game with them in mind. Can you? Get the KO. Of course. Gordon? You need to head over here. And I guess I could have Bars start going over here. Actually, I could move him up like that. Alright. Thief has arrived. I am not scared of the thief. What do you have? Do you have anything? Just a steel sword. Alright, Marth, get to the village. Oh, please spare this girl! She is just ten years old! She hasn't even finished her training as a cleric. Don't worry, old lady. We're not gonna take this child. Huh? Aren't you a soldier of the Empire? No, you got that wrong. You got the wrong idea. We haven't come here to fight. If you require anything, please ask. We have some food. Please, take it if you want. Wait! Please, take me with you! You re You're really only ten years old? You. Oh, you. You're really only ten years I think I still prefer Book One's version of this song. But maybe the stakes are different, so they wanted to have a different tone. Uh, I actually have become... Actually, I have already become of age, but my grandmother lied, to, lied for me so the soldiers wouldn't take me away. Well, I know if I stay here, I will eventually be discovered and captured by the Imperial soldiers. Lane's soldiers are like, the, like beasts, but you're different. You have very kind eyes. Please, take me out of this country and to your own country. Is that alright, grandmother? Uh, of course. You'll be much safer compared to here. Young lad, I beg of you, please protect this girl. If you want, it would be no problem for her to become your bride. This child, like me in the past, is a beautiful girl. She will definitely make a fine wife. Militia, a uh, militia. If this youth is, was to be your husband, would you be, you would be happy, right? Honestly, grandmother, it's far too early. Militia doesn't know what to do. Mil Militia. Okay, so we got a new healer. That's probably going to keep her in the main party. What do we got at the shop? What do we got here? We got armory. Iron weapon. Iron sword. Lance, javelin, and bow. Okay, let's see. I should give you an iron lance. You an iron lance. Okay. 
Uh, if I'm planning to use Ryan, I don't need Gordon to get a new bow. You should have it. Okay. Uh, I'm thinking three Iron Lances. Yeah. Three Iron Lances. And maybe an Iron Sword for Marth. For more. There we go. Buying stuff already. Alright. You know what? I think I'm gonna have Drog hold off before going up here. Because I could start I could feed KOs to uh Ryan. and then we can start working our way up there. They did say something about getting an idea of what everyone's saying at the villages, but I think that's just for flavor text. But I might as well get the flavor text. I haven't played this game before. Or this... I haven't played book two. So... Might as well, right? Those guys don't seem to move. That's good. Ahead and trade uh, iron sword. We go ahead and heal. We get some good hits from it. Well, probably give it a look. Again, I haven't played book two, so getting the flavor text is not a bad idea. I kind of skipped that in book one because you know, kind of not a first playthrough. I heard General Lorenz resided in Talus Island in his youth. Oh, really? Th at that time, Talus was not unified. And there were conflicts between the island tribes. The general helped a youthful chief to unite the island. From that day on, the general and the chief, now the current king of Talus, have always been in contact. You know what? There was probably a village in Book 1 that, set, that basically told that. <laughs> Okay, Ryan, how well can you do? Attack at 11. Defensive 2. Can we get... No. No, you could get on the 4th. What about Gordon? Can you weaken? Attack of 16. Minus 2. Yeah, we have Gordon weaken. a crit. Good for him. Good for Ryan. I'll probably keep Ryan, actually. Probably keep him in the team. Alright. What does this village say? After the previous war ended, Princess Nina handed over this country to General Lawrence and allowed him to freely rule. However, after Hardin became emperor, he removed General Lawrence's power and sent Lane's army here. Lang stole everything from us. Not just money, but also food, clothes, and even loved ones work. Uh, if only General Camus was still here, then we wouldn't need to fear Lang. Well, briefly, Camus went over to the nearby continent. I forget what that continent is, like, named. It's not Vaughn. That's during Awakening. Uh... I forget the continent's name in Gaiden. Let's see. Okay. I feel like I will actually use Rudy. Of course, he just needs healing. He doesn't need the Lance. So I'm gonna go ahead and... Trade over two of these. 
Then we go ahead and heal Rhodey. Okay. I just start getting those levels. She's gonna be my best mage. You have a defense of six, so you'll be fine. I was gonna use Grog. Oh, you have a hand axe. Hold on, wait a minute. 13, 11, minus six. We are talking about a combined total of 12 damage. No crits are involved, and he's not fast enough or strong enough to get a KO. I'll draw here as backup. Ryan, get close. Alright. Luke, I need you to trade for a new weapon. something like this. There we go. Alright. Let's see the other villages. General Lawrence recovered the children from Wendell, hoping to raise, raise them from at Grust. When the Emperor found out, he ordered him to hand over the children. The General hid the children away because he feared they would be killed. Following that, he lost his power, and then Commander Lane came. In order to find the children, Lane performed many atrocities. Eventually, we rebelled, because we could no longer stand him. But everything's over. The people of this country will all, will all be killed by Lane. Here. What do you have to say? The deceased King Gross had two children. Princess Yumina and Prince Yubello. Twins of 13 to 14 years of age. The king was scared of Garneth, so he sent the two to Caden. I heard they were held as hostages and locked inside a dark room, as explaining why they were not in the first game. And they were finally rescued by Wendell. Oh, Wendell rescued them. They were on the brink of death. The bishop immediately took them to a monastery in Caden to take care of them. Interesting, okay. goes. Another thief arrives. Okay. Why? I, there's no other village. Okay. Oh, good. We dodged. So, that's the plan. Okay, let's check this village. <clears throat> this country no longer has any young girls. The Imperial, Imperial soldiers took them all away. Especially beautiful girls, who were all taken by General Lang. What kind of world has this become? Hmm. Let's see. So, we don't have a thief here. Should go this way. We cannot heal him yet. He managed to dodge, so he can survive if both of them actually hit him. So, how about we go ahead and let. He's 
doing, Roby's doing fine. He'll be fine. Yeah, he'll attack with a hand axe. That's fine. Let's see. Do we dodge? Yes, we do. We're doing good. And of course... Of course, uh, he do uh, he dodged too. Okay. He needs healing. Um, how do I want to handle this? I feel like it's gonna be harder to give Ryan kills. So here's my plan. We heal Rody. And we let him get attacked again. Wait. Actually, can we attack from range? Let's see how well we could do this. Alright, that, that worked out. We can move a bit. We can give him a kill. Well, he's not gonna help out up there, that's for sure. There we go. Level two, strength, luck, and weapon level. Very nice. I think that's about it. Attack by the hand axe. Normally, this would be a good spot for Drog. But we we can feed Rody some experience, so this works out. Okay, now he actually hits back. Okay, there is another thief. Yes. Of course he can't make it. All right, well, it's going to... Actually, can we get Luke to grab it? Attack at 15 minus... Let's see if Luke can get this. Okay, good. The accuracy wasn't there, but I made it work. Got Vulnary, that's good. All right. Let's heal him up. can't make it up there. He has to dismount, doesn't he? Okay. Probably the same thing with you, huh? Okay. That sucks. Already forcing me to dismount. I guess this game probably has dismounting in mind. them up there are moving. That's interesting. Actually, if Ryan were to stand here, attack of 8. He has an attack of 11. That's of 6. 5? Okay. Well, I can make this work. And Rody could go here now if I wanted to. Careful about up here though. 12, 11, 6. Again, we're kind of looking at similar situation here. I think it would be best to wait. Ryan could go ahead and attack though.
Again, I could send Drog, I could send Marth to make this go faster, mm -hmm. but we can feed experience to my lesser units. Probably need loot down here. And yeah. Well, I could send it over here, why not? Alright, let's see how this goes. Ah, oh, it's nearly a full heal. Oh, come on. Just go in there. Six damage. Right, first of all, can you weaken? Attack of 16. Yes. Go, Gordon, you got this. Yeah, you hit him. Now. Can Luke grab the KO? Uh, nope. He missed. Not surprised. Alright. You don't have a way to heal. I'm still gonna attack the hand axe. Uh, of course I miss. Survive. If you go into attack, what are we looking at? Attack of 10 with 4 attack speed. That's 12 damage. You'll survive both attack. Wait. No, that's not a good idea. Now that I think about it. Not a good idea. Because if the hand axe guy decides to attack Rhodey. Yeah, that'll that will just go badly. Alright. Who has the Volinary? You do. Okay. Marth has one. health. Oh good, we dodged. That works out. Okay. Luke, go ahead, grab your cane. That's fine. Brody. This should be exact amount. He even got the crit. I was trying to feed it to Ryan, but oh well. Man, already using up a lot of my heal staff. I can't even buy another one yet. Alright. Another thief? Jeez, how many of them are gonna spawn? Ah, eh, this should be okay. Have you go right ahead and attack without getting hurt. 
Sometimes. You can't double. All right. It seems the Empire's reinforcements have come. It's already reached this stage. Lord Ogma, I am deeply sorry for getting you involved in all this. But could you listen for one last request of mine? I was sent here by King Talis to help you. If there's anything I could do for you, please ask. Is that so? Can I ask of you? Please send these children to Medon. These children, Prince Yubello and Princess Yumina, are the children of the late King Grust. I have always been protecting them in secret, but that is no longer possible. If they fled into General Lane's hands, I bet he would execute them without question. Please, take these children to Wendell and Medon. I understand. I will protect these two with my life. Truly, thank you. Well, Prince Yubello. Princess Yumin, uh, Yumina, you will escape with Lord Ogma. No, I won't go. If we must escape, Lorenz must come with us too. Princess Yumina, I am afraid I cannot leave. My body is in such agony that even walking pains me. So please, don't worry about me. You two must flee. Why? Why must you say that? Lorenz, you fought to protect us. That's why you suffered such a heavy wound. How can you tell us to leave you? I will not go. I will not leave your side. What should we do, General? This is troublesome. Yumina will undoubtedly stick to her word. I apologize, Lord Ogma. You may, you may leave. I understand. Then I will find another way to help you. I will find Lane and kill him. I will use my blade to send him to his grave. He probably could do it. If I succeed, perhaps the nearby enemies will retreat. Daryl Lawrence, you must live to see that day. Don't get yourself killed. As for just getting to the... Wait, you can't cross the mountain! Ryan! Oh... That sucks. Ah, okay. You can't cross the mountain. And how about we just... Send you over here, I guess. Well, we're getting a lot of EXP for... Militia? Melissia? I don't know. Strength, speed, weapon level. Hey, that's more healing. You have Luke, head up here. Go ahead and dismount. Ah, that sucks. Ryan can't make it across. Can't make it across the mountain. Wait, another thief? Huh. Should get how much health should I get? He gets I don't know. Currently has 14 health. How much attack speed do I have? Four, not enough to double. But since he can't kill, we can weaken this guy safely. He'll, he's gonna get there eventually. Alright, Gordon, go ahead, weaken. I understand this is very slow, but I just want to feed experience to the lesser units. This isn't a speed run. If this was a speed run, I'd probably be sending him to Marth. At least Ryan can get kills over here. That works. 
Alright. That's one way of doing it. Is that the reason, like, all those thieves keep showing up? Just to give the XP? and HP. Oh, you can't go and help. Oh, no. That's not good. I should have double-checked. I guess. Level three. Strength, speed, weapon level, and HP. Man, Ryan's already getting some good level ups. See? Like, he's like half the level and his strength is already pretty much matched. I mean, I say pretty much because he was at seven strength. Gordon is faster by one. That's due to the level. Five, four, eight. Yeah, honestly, Ryan seems to be better than Gordon. He already seems to be better. Gordon, you suck. I don't think this guy's gonna move. He wasn't early. You can. Thirteen. Seven. Uh, six. I think he can survive. I think he can survive. I think he just that level saved his butt. Oh, that can, that one's moving. Okay. Either way, I think. Oh god, we dodged. Let's see. And the archer. Oh, the hunter. My bad. Oh, good. We we're finally dodging. Get some of that health back. Thirteen minus seven. Six. I think. 6, 12, 17. Nope. Uh, 17. Swap you out. I could have used a Volunary, though. Wait, what is your defense? 7? Really? Huh. Oh, you're level 3. I think we're looking at a similar uh, mount. Oh, you're fast enough to double. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, what is your... Oh, wow. Difference of 2 speed. Huh, okay. Well, might as well get the healing in. I have a feeling I, have a feeling I might bench him. I have a feeling he's probably going to be benched. I feel like I'm only going to have two calves. Probably be Luke. Dodge 
dodge, dodge. No. Well, at least she doubled. It's a slow process, but we're making it work. Okay. Here. Go ahead and this should be the KO. Yeah. He didn't need the crit, but eh, it worked out. Fulinary. Sweet. And heal her up. Jeez, I'm already using so much of the heal staff. Alright. You know, if I really wanted to train Ryan, I could let one of the bandits stand on the fort. That way, Ryan can attack from range. I could have done that. But it's fine. Okay. He's fast enough to double. Are we gonna suffer from success? We dodged, we're good. And geez, Rody getting the crits! Go Rody! Level 3, Strength, Speed, Weapon Level, and HP. Okay. Again, we're only talking about 5 damage. I think this happy music is probably better than book 1. <laughs> It feels like Book 2 has a way better uh, soundtrack so far. Book 1 was too busy trying to recreate, uh, uh, just, you know, be a remix. Archer. Good. One more archer left. Oh, she can't make it. Oh well. Oh, we don't need her. Marth. Time to start crossing the mountain. So close, but we'll survive. <laughs> she misses the first hit, but then gets the crit. There's a seal. Level four, skill, luck, and weapon level. Okay. Brody, just get out of the way. Alright, Marth. We'll let you get healed from here. Draw can't make it. Kinda interested that, like, they block off some of your units from getting over here. Kind of an interesting choice. Oh, now, however... To the horse. Alright, let's see what the village has to say. I only saw a glance of him, but that paladin, Aaron, didn't look too good. 
In any case, if he continues fighting, it will be difficult for others to improve. Basically telling you don't use don't rely on Jagan. Don't rely on Aaron. Alright. Marth. Let's talk. Lord Marth! It's you! Although I knew the enemy's reinforcements had come, I didn't expect it was you. It is a shame that we must fight Altea and fight against your highness. Please wait, I don't intend to fight with you. From the citizens I have discovered disturbing facts about the, the atrocities performed by the occupation army. I will inform Emperor Hardin about these facts. If I meet him, I will definitely be able to rescue Gross. So please, put away your weapon. Your highness, I appreciate the favor, but that is impossible. Your highness, you don't know a thing. You think that somebody like Hardin would send a heartless man like Lane here for no reason? He wanted to provoke us into rebelling, so that the Kingdom of Grass would be completely destroyed and become ruled by the Empire. That is the reason why he sent such a cold-blooded man here. What? Why would he? I cannot possibly be I cannot possibly believe that Hardin would do such a thing. I expect you to accept it, accept the truth so quickly. However, since he became emperor, he has completely changed. He is no longer the Harden that your highness once knew. Anyway, I believe we're finished here. However, your highness, I have one last request. In this fortress, Gross's royal prince, princess and prince are hiding. Please save the, those children. If you could promise that, I'll have no regrets. Lord Marth. Let's just say that in exchange for my life, the, these children, I'll hand them in your care. Oh, wow. General Lawrence! How could you? He just blew himself up! I didn't expect that. Granted, uh, I didn't know how we could beat him. Because I don't think the rapier would have been strong enough. Well, let's seize the castle. You two are Gross's, Gross's Prince Gubello and Princess Yumina. What? Lorenz? He's dead. What should we do? You fiends! Don't kill me! Don't come near us! Otherwise, we'll kill ourselves! No, you got it all wrong. Lord Marth, you finally caught the rebels! General Lang, wait! Those children are innocent! Can't you hand them to us? That is impossible. Prisoners of war must be taken to my castle. I must also execute them as soon as possible, so that other people do not dare not divide us. Ah, your highness, you must head immediately to Medon. The Medon uh, Medonian army has rebelled, and its princess has appeared, and its princess appears to have been captured by them. Emperor Hardin has ordered that you go and rescue Princess Minerva. I can't speak right now. What? Medon? I understand. General, if it's to rescue Princess Minerva, I'll, gla I'll gladly go. But please hand those children to me. I beg of you, General Lang. Don't be stubborn, your highness. When I said no, I meant it. Will you two, come over here. No, let go of me! You bellow, help me! Yumina, Yumina! Wait, wait, Lane, release those children! I noticed, uh, Yumina was blue for a second. Your highness, please calm down. If we fight with Blaine now, we will become traitors. Our top, on top of that, we currently don't have the strength to oppose Lane's army. But, Jagan, can we really give those children to Lane? That, I... Right now, no matter what, we must stay calm. If we go to Medon and pr successfully pr rescue Princess Minerva, Medon might be able to help us. Your Highness, please, please stay calm for now. We must first go to Medon. I'm saving the game. 
My throat's basically dead. Uh, so I'm calling it here. Uh, let's go through the achievements we unlocked. There isn't many, but we might as well go through. We unlocked beating the final chapter of book one, chapter one of book two. We also got, was there more? Uh, recruit Melissa? Complete book one with all possible recruits and without any of them dying. Well, yeah. Technically, people died, but I reset. So, yeah. No one left behind. Is that it? Mark the level 20 promotions. Yeah, that's about it. Not many. Granted, we really only did two chapters. So, again, thanks for everyone who showed up. I'm doing these streams Monday through Friday at noon Pacific time. If you want to see the old streams that are not on Twitch anymore, they're on YouTube at Scoutbot64 Stream Archives. There's a link in the about page. Uh, yeah, uh... Yeah, we get to finally start book two, and this is where the true first playthrough actually is. Anyway, have a good day.